Okay, so just forgot to roll the lend lease for uh, Russia. So in the west, they're going to get a tank. So that will be placed in Archangel. And in the east, they're going to get one on artillery, which will be placed in Amur. Sorry about that, I meant to do that, but forgot. So that's the lend lease for the Russians. Yeah, On thanks. with the Japanese turn. Okay, welcome to Japan, turn seven. They have a ridiculous amount of money to spend. 20, 40, 70, 85, 88, 92 IPCs. They're gonna buy a battleship, a cruiser, a destroyer. Uh, five uh, tanks, one mech, and six infantry. And they will be declaring several attacks around the board. The infantry and the artillery from Tunguska are going to go to the Urals. Um, they're going to be attacking Manchuria from Jehol, the two, the two planes from Kiangsu, the two infantry from Guam, and three infantry and one artillery from Japan. Uh, they will also be attacking... Uh, Eastern Iran with an infantry and an artillery from West India and two tanks from uh, India as well. Down there in the area around Australia, they will be attacking uh, C-Zone 45 with a fighter and C-Zone whatever that is, 50, or 62 with a tactical bomber. Both of those will be auto kills. Finally, they will also be attacking this American fleet with everything that can reach around the home islands. So the carriers, this, and uh, the two bombers. So let's roll some dice. It's the battle for Season 45. A fighter jet from the aircraft carrier Soryu is going to auto kill the Australian ship, the HMAS Lai transport ship. So again, auto kill. No dice here. Okay, for the attack on C-Zone 62, a tactical bomber from the uh, carrier Soryu is attacking the HMAS Manura uh, transport ship. And once again, this is also an auto kill. For the amphibious assault on Manchuria, the Asaka Maru and the Hikawa Maru each have two infantry, and the merchant ship Nanamaru has an infantry and an artillery, supported on land by two infantry, one artillery, four tanks, a fighter, and a tactical bomber. There are some AA guns here, so the uh, Japanese planes are at risk, uh, but they both miss. So we have five ones, four twos, four threes, and two fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, four, five, six, seven. Battle's over. The combined Chinese and Russian forces do get defense. And they hit three times. So three of the infantry are killed. But the other infantry survive and the territory is taken. A battle for Eastern Iran. Japanese are coming in with infantry and an artillery and two tanks. One hit, so they got the any aircraft gun. Hit. Infantry. Misses. Miss. Two hits. So Japan takes the territory with one casualty. Okay, this is the battle for Sea Zone 25, and it's a fairly extensive naval battle. The Japanese have three carriers, the Shinyo, the Hiryu, and the Akagi, and each of those has a fighter and a tactical bomber. They're coming in with a destroyer, the Yukikaze a cruiser, the Tone, and two battleships, the 
Nagato and the Yamashiro, along with two strategic bombers. The Americans have three carriers, but only two of which uh, are fully loaded. Uh, the rest are... Um, well, the, the third one is, uh, is empty, but of course they still get defenses. So here are the ships, the transport ships, the SS Coast Farmer, the SS Gus W. Darnell, the SS Brown Victory, the SS William Williams, the SS William S. Ladd, the SS Logan Victory, and the SSHM story. Now remember, these are improved transports, so each one of these gets a one defense. Uh, we have two submarines, the SS-199 Tau Tog and the SS-249 Flasher. Two destroyers, the USS Mead and the USS Boyd. Three carriers, the Saratoga, the Hancock, and the Lexington. Two cruisers, the USS Tuscaloosa and the USS San Francisco. Remember, one of those cruisers gets a boost because of the battleship and the USS Missouri battleship. Now, the Missouri is going to get three shots at the fighters. And the bombers. So, no hits with the anti-aircraft. So, let's see what the Japanese do on the first go-round. Two four, six, eight hits. Remember, we cannot hit those until the very, very end. Eight hits. So I think what we'll do right away is take out two of the carriers, so that's four hits, and we'll take out the two destroyers and the two submarines, so that's eight hits. Okay, in defense, we have seven improved transports, two subs, two destroyers, three carriers. Um, actually, yeah, three carriers. We'll damage one carrier and we'll keep one destroyer. So that's what we'll do, sorry. Okay, uh, three carriers, uh, one uh, cruiser and one tack bomber three fighters, and a, uh, a boosted cruiser and a battleship. So, oops, this one's got to be rolled. Got to hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, sorry, seven. Four, six, eight, no, eight. Okay, eight. Uh, so that's the three carriers for six. Uh, the um, destroyer for seven. Or actually, we'll leave the destroyer and we'll kill these two guys because they can't uh, continue in the game. So we're going to lose those four anyway. Okay, so we will keep it going. Uh, what do we lose? We lose a two and two more twos. And two ones and one of these twos becomes a one so that's what they have to defend with now okay keep it going two four hits that's no good okay so um, we'll lose the carrier for one Two, three, four. Okay, so there's defense. Two, four, six, seven. Well, we will. Kill that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we'll keep going. Oops. So what do we have left here? We have one of these, one of these, 
three of these, and seven of these too. Okay. All right, we got five of these left. Three hits. Uh, I guess we'll lose that. We'll damage the battleship. And we'll lose a fighter. Okay, 30 wins. Two, four. That's everything but one fighter. I think we have to keep going because we've got no place to land, so not much choice there. Hit. So we'll lose a fighter. And obviously this is going to be... So Japanese lost the battle, but they got rid of most of the American Navy. So we'll see if that's going to be enough. Okay, non-combat. The fighter and the attack bomber from Manchuria are going to land in Okinawa. The three tanks from Kiangsu are going to go to Jehol. The infantry from Sui Yuan. Uh, the infantry from Sui Yuan is going to go to Kansu. Uh, the tank and artillery from Kwai Chow are going to be railed one, two, three to Tunguska. Um, down here, the infantry from uh, India is going to go to West India. Three infantry and the artillery from Shan State are going to go to Burma. And then way, way down here, um, all of the naval forces in the Java Sea Zone are going to go to Sea Zone 54. And the two transports are going to load up here. Uh, the fighter and attack bomber will land on the carrier, so there will be a, a Japanese naval contingent in C-Zone 54 right there. I think that's everything, so I'll tidy this up and I'll come back. Okay, placement of new units. We're going to put our two new tanks in Kwai Chow. We're going to put an infantry, a tank, and a mechanized infantry in Calcutta. And we're going to put the rest in the home islands. So we will have a battleship, cruiser, destroyer, two tanks, and the rest infantry. Okay, in terms of money, um, they're going to get two for the Urals. They're going to get three for Manchuria. They're going to get nothing for Eastern Iran, although it now belongs to them. Uh, and so that's plus five. So that's 64 to 69. China goes down to zero. Russia goes down to 36. And so we have a base income of 69 IPCs and a very large number of bonuses. Three IPCs for control in Guam, five for um, Calcutta, uh, 12 for the Money Islands, three each, 10 for controlling all Chinese territories, and five for controlling Burma. So Japan has really, really um, contributed to the game. So they've been, they've been doing quite well. So, um, United States and China, I guess, is up next, but China won't have anything to do.